Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing tourists who've been stranded in Thailand due to coronavirus and the knock-on implications associated with the various policies of various countries now dealing with, grappling with the aftermath of this virus becoming rather widespread globally. We're basically discussing what are folks stranded here in Thailand, where do things stand with respect to their immigration status, their visas, and getting their visa status extended. So in a recent article from Bangkok Post, that's bangkokpost.com, it's titled Immigration Bureau Pursues Visa Relief for Foreigners. And to put this, to put this uh, article in context, this article was published April 6, 2020. Approximately a week ago, we started running videos about this notion of an automatic visa extension for those who are stranded in Thailand. And as we noted, the cabinet has had approved in principle an initiative to go ahead and allow folks to stay in Thailand sort of automatically while this COVID-19, this coronavirus thing plays out. This article is interesting because one, it quotes the immigration chief directly, which is, is very useful because now we're getting an idea of exactly how the immigration apparatus is going to implement and enforce the resolution of the cabinet on this issue. So quoting directly from this article, the foreigners are now divided in, into three groups. Foreigners with resident visas who normally reside in Thailand but cannot return to Thailand due to the COVID-19 crisis, foreign tourists who are unable to depart Thailand due to the crisis, and that's who we're talking about here, and visitors from neighboring countries who hold a temporary border pass and got stuck in Thailand after the borders were shut. So again, foreign tourists. Quoting further, the foreign tourists in the second group who reported to immigration authorities for a 30-day extension after their visas expired on March 26th or thereafter, their visas will be automatically renewed every 30 days until the pandemic subsides, said Police General Sompong Chingdoan. Under the government's social distancing policy, these tourists will no longer have to visit the Immigration Bureau and risk contracting the virus in a crowd. Okay. Let me go ahead and quote this again, because I think this is important. For foreign tourists in the second group who reported immigration authorities for a 30-day extension after their visas expired on March 26th or thereafter, their visas will be automatically renewed every 30 days until the pandemic subsides, said Police General Sompong. And again, that's Sompong Chingduang. That is the head of Thai immigration. So straight from the source, if you will. Now, what's important to note there, March 26th and foreign tourists who reported to immigration authorities for a 30-day extension after their visas expired on March 26th or thereafter. So it looks to me like there's an affirmative duty on the foreign national in Thailand who needs an initial extension to get an extension. Then thereafter, as this COVID-19 thing progresses, they're going to just keep status rolling over on a month-to-month -month basis for those individuals until such time as it's deemed that the travel restrictions can be lifted and those folks will have to go back to the normal rules pertaining to Thai immigration. So on a, at a practical level, I think this means at least one trip is going to be necessary for folks to get their visas extended, and then thereafter their, their status will be sort of rolled over until further notice, basically. And it'll, it looks to me like it's gonna be rolled over on a 30 day, in 30 day intervals, if you will. So the thing to take away from this video for folks who are stranded here, yeah, it does look like an in-person visit to immigration is gonna be necessary once, but once you're done with that, you've done it on or after the 26th of March, at least according to this article that's quoting the head of Thai immigration, it looks like you're not going to have to deal with further extension thereafter until this coronavirus crisis abates. 